YouTubers, I am to review a movie for you that I saw last night. For you, your benefit, I will tell you what I thought of this film. But you have already seen it, most likely. And you will think I'm an idiot for pointing this out. But, what movie did I say, see, you ask? It's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Part 1! That I saw last night. For the first time, and, uh, about time, bloody... Well, too. It's taken me since the movie came out to see it. I wanted to see it in theaters. Didn't necessarily have to see it in 3D. I'm getting tired of watching movies in 3D. I'm getting tired of, you know, trying to stay awake and watch the 3D movie. I miss watching movies just as movies. Let them have to be an experience. <sighs> anyway, it was 24 hours ago, pretty much, that I watched this movie. And, um, well acted, um, well written, good, good following of the story, um, I like the way it was lit, a very dark, very bleak looking movie, for what it's worth, um, and, uh, I've had that Accio... Or, yeah, Accio, Deathly Hollow is stuck in my head. Says, I'm getting kind of tired of this. All this media attention, media bliss. Um, just how many books could you sell? I don't really even know that song, but I, I, I find it funny. And, uh, yeah, so it was kind of stuck in my head. And uh, I've had the uh, movie in my possession for, like, over two weeks now. And I finally watched it. I feel kind of bad. Had to borrow it from my sister. Because I'm too broke to go see the movie in theaters. Didn't have time to go see it in theaters when I did have money. And, um... I don't own any of the Harry Potter films. I don't feel right about just starting with the second to last film. To add to my video collection. Maybe I'll start collecting them now. I, I don't know. Go out and get myself like a part-time job just to make a little bit of extra cash so I can buy them. But um, what else do I have to say? Oh, I thought of the actors in the movie, the uh, our main characters, which is uh, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Gint, Grint, and Emma Watson, are very fortunate actors to be able to work on their craft for 10 years with the same characters. I think that they're very lucky and very fortunate in that, and it makes for an even better movie, that by the time that the high drama really hits the fan, they're prepared for it character-wise. They know their characters inside and out by now, and they know how to do it. And um, I think they do did, did an excellent job. Uh, there were scenes in... Uh, uh, Goblet of Fire, and, uh, I think mostly in that one. Some other scenes, maybe, in one of the other films, I thought that, uh, Emma Watson was overacting a little bit, but I think everything was done just so well in this movie that I, I really, you know, I have nothing bad to say. There's nothing that I, 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 I don't desire anything from this film. It is perfect. It is what I expect. It is up to any standard I could have for the Harry Potter, you know, franchise, and uh, I enjoyed it immensely. I think the one critique I could say is that the scene with the snake, with the woman that turns into a snake, um, it was creeping me out until the snake showed up, and that kind of was a letdown. Because I was expecting that scene to just scare the living crap out of me, and it did until the snake appeared. I don't know why it didn't deliver at that point. I guess because the idea of a snake disguised as a woman creeps me out, but the snake itself doesn't. Anaconda wasn't the right movie for me to see to try to get scared because it didn't work for me. But I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. I have been, like, caught unaware by garter snakes and, like, hey, I don't like them. I'm not deathly afraid of them. I wouldn't go out of my way to pick one up because I think that they're, you know, I don't pick up wild animals, so, because I don't know what diseases they might have. 
but at the same time, I've had Hell of a Snake before. And so I'm not terrified of them, but I don't love them at the same time. The same thing with spiders. You know, I'm not scared of spiders, but uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to get them to be around me. Um, but other than that, other than the snake not scaring me, see, the movie was, for lack of a better word, perfect. Um, and I'm sure many of you will agree with me. I, I, I can't see anyone still looking, watching that film and saying, this one, the worst one yet. So, uh, that's it for my discussing Harry Potter. Um, all you fans out there, I'm sure you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm sure you already all own it, and I don't yet. But if anyone wants to ever talk to me about them, I'm open to discussion on that. Maybe trade videos back and forth or or uh, private messages. But you don't have to. It's not necessary for me. Uh, I like the books. Anyone wants to talk to me about them, I'm willing to talk, but it's not that important to me, so cool. And communication.